Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue sur un nouveau uh, sentence builder. I'm just thinking now, I don't know what to call them in French. Uh, so today we're continuing the internet topic, but we're looking at pour ou contre, which you could translate as pros or and sorry, pro or con or for or against, in favor or against. So we're discussing dangers and benefits of the internet. So that's answering the question. Sorry, my mouse pad is very annoying and the cat has just jumped onto the table. She was far away. She had me start speaking, so she has to come over. Can you move up? Yeah, I know you're dropping lots of stuff all over the place. Let me see if I can still figure this out. Alors, um, so we're answering the question, qu'est-ce que tu penses d'internet? Qu'est-ce que tu penses d'internet? The highlighting thing, ah, is not working very well. Qu'est-ce que tu penses d'internet? Or you could say, qu'est-ce que tu penses des réseaux sociaux? Qu'est-ce que tu penses des réseaux sociaux? Um, so in French, we don't call social media media, we call them network. So réseau means network. Now, if you want to show off a bit uh, and by some time at the start of your answer, you can begin with this little phrase. Bien que ce soit une question difficile, bien que ce soit une question difficile, which has an irregular subjunctive in there. And then, je pense que, or je trouve que, or je suis d'avis que, a little bit more um, long-winded and literary. You follow all of these with c'est. So it becomes, je pense que c'est, je trouve que c'est, je suis d'avis que c'est. If you use je suis d'avis, I would recommend articulating everything properly. The other two, you can be a bit more standard with your elocution. Or we can have another uh, turn, which is going to be negative with a subjunctive. Je ne pense pas que ce soit. Je ne pense pas que ce soit. Or je ne trouve pas que ce soit. Je ne trouve pas que ce soit. Um, I often barely say the ne. It's up to you. You can say je ne pense pas que ce soit. Je ne trouve pas que ce soit. Uh, most of the time in spoken French, we barely hear it. Uh, then we have intensifiers or adverbs, so trop, to, vraiment, really, très, very, assez, and plutôt, both mean quite, or rather, un peu, a bit, parfois, sometimes, potentiellement, potentiellement, potentially, possibly, potentiellement. We don't really say possiblement, so if you want to say possibly, use potentiellement. Essentiel, indispensable, 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 I think is an English word, but it's, um, you can't do without. Pratique, often translated as practical, but I prefer convenient. Utile, very useful one to know by heart. Dangereux, dangereux, you could also say dangereux, dangereux. And risqué, risqué, okay. Uh, so, can I move, I wonder if I can scroll down and if it's going to, no, okay, I might have to record this in several goes then because we can only see part of the grid. Uh, I don't know, what if I exit drawing, oh, it worked, okay, so I don't have to record it separately, we're still finding out new stuff about this. <laughs> recording monarchy. So now that we've had an introduction, so we've given a general idea, uh, maybe je ne pense pas que ce soit trop risqué, I don't think that it is too risky. So then you can uh, argue your points by starting with en effet, indeed en effet. So you, you're basically introducing an explanation for your point that you've just made. You've made a general point, now we're going to go into detail and give evidence for that or further arguments. So en effet. Grâce à Internet, or grâce aux réseaux sociaux. So if you start with grâce à or grâce au, so it's going to be positive, it's thanks to. Grâce à Internet, grâce aux réseaux sociaux. Il est, so I think we've seen in the last grid, we can say il est or c'est. Il est is a little bit more literary and c'est is a bit more standard, everyday French. And then we could have the positive. So if I assume I said it's, uh, je, ne, je ne pense pas que ce soit trop risqué, I don't think it's too risky. Um, I would say, uh, I would then probably go with a positive. So, il est facile de 
So we are going to use de if the next word starts with a consonant sound. So de rester en contact. For example, de rester en contact. The mouse is really slow. Avec ses amis. Or you could say avec sa famille. Which I'm going to highlight if I can. This is doing my head in. No, not you. You're not doing my head in. You are very nice and quiet. I know. I love you too. Avec sa famille. Oh, it worked. Okay. So, il est facile de rester en contact avec sa famille. You could also use il est facile de faire des recherches. Let me try and highlight that. I know. You're not helping right now, though. Now, if you're going to use utiliser, that starts with a vowel sound. So let's say we want to say it's possible to use an online dictionary. Il est possible. And then we are going to merge together this D apostrophe and this utiliser. And it's going to give us il est possible d'utiliser. Il est possible d'utiliser un dictionnaire en ligne. Il est possible d'utiliser un dictionnaire en ligne. Or you could say il est facile de partager. De partager. Another really good verb to know. Des photos, des vidéos. So we need to reuse they every time here. Des photos, des vidéos, des créations artistiques. Des créations artistiques. Or you could say ces infos personnelles. Ces infos personnelles. So if you've said that it was risky, you could argue en effet grâce à Internet or à cause d'Internet, il est fréquent de partager ces infos personnelles. So you often share your personal information, which is a bit dangerous. Uh, fréquent. I forgot to highlight here. Fréquent. D'un autre côté, so here you're going to show that you can understand and view the opposite stance to yours. So it adds a bit of nuance to your answer. Uh, so we can then start with à cause if we have a negative argument coming, à cause, and it's à cause de, so here followed by a vowel, we put the apostrophe, à cause d'internet, and here followed by a plural, réseau social, we put de instead of de. À cause d'internet, à cause des réseaux sociaux, we still have il est here, and then we'll go with important, or facile, or possible, or fréquent, so important isn't necessarily going to go after, after à cause d'internet. Um, I don't know why I put it separately. I could have just merged these two rows. Um, I'm going to make a note and do that so that next year's resources are better. Merge rows. Adjectives. Sorry, we go. Uh, so, il est important de... So, you probably would argue il est important de faire du sport. It's important to do sport. Il est important de sortir prendre l'air. It's important to go out for fresh air. Il est important de passer du temps avec sa famille. And then we have a little idiom here, en chair et en os. En chair et en os. In flesh. We say in flesh and bone in French. Or you can have retrouver ses amis en vrai. Retrouver ses amis en vrai. So en vrai, in real life, for real. And I skipped two things here. So uh, you could also reuse the... Uh, risqué and dangereux that we had before and put il est risqué de chatter avec des inconnus so it's risky to chat with strangers or il est dangereux de passer trop de temps sur internet it's dangerous to spend too much time on the internet I have gone really uh, quick over this one passer trop de temps sur internet if you want to articulate it properly passer trop de temps sur internet um, but yeah in spoken French we will tend to say passer trop de temps trop de temps sur internet uh, it's just quicker. We like it when we have a quicker option. Uh, and then underneath, I just put a little tip. Remember to add connectives and intensifiers as often as possible. Treat this grid as a jumping off point, not the only available arguments. Of course, there was no way I could think of all the arguments you might have in mind and put them all in a grid that fits on one page. If you want to see more complex arguments, do your research. If you're in my GCSE class, then run it by me and I can help you make sure it's accurate and it's going to pay off in the exam and in real life. Uh, if you're not in my class, you can either ask your French teacher or reach out to maybe any native speaker you have around you. You might have some uh, languages assistance and things like that. And if not, you can leave a comment in this video and I can check stuff out. I get notifications and because I'm not swamped in comments, I will probably respond 
quite swiftly. So that's it for today. We've just hit 10 minutes. There was a bit of backing around. So I'm going to count this as under 10 minutes, which was my goal. I have, um, sorry, I'm trying again. Have a lovely rest of your day and take care. Au revoir.